Were you charged for an iPhone you didn't buy? Well, it could be an iPhone phishing scam. And joining us now with more is Roseanne Freitas, Public Relations and Communications Manager with the Better Business Bureau. Good morning to you, Roseanne. I think I received an email saying I bought an iPhone and I didn't. So tell us more about how the scam works. So what happens is people receive an email or some sort of notification saying that they've purchased this new iPhone and either their Amazon account, their bank account, or their credit card is going to be charged. But then people go, hold it, I didn't buy a new phone. And then what they do is they're hoping now we're going to be eager to get hold of them so that we can stop this charge on our phone. And that's where they get us. So you contact them based on the um, information that they send you, and then you get this very helpful customer service on the other end, and this is where the scam starts. They tell you right away that you need to act immediately, otherwise those charges are going to be posted. Then they start to ask for information. Sometimes they'll ask for a credit card or bank information, or get, just basically get information from you about your identity or your accounts. And the key here is not to fall for it. And it sounds familiar, that tactic of scaring people and getting them to do something because they're in fear. So how can people avoid this phishing scam? You really kind of highlighted it there when you said they use fear. So the first thing we need to do is stop and think. Don't react emotionally. Double check that sender's email address. Make sure it is from who it's supposed to be. And even if you're not sure about that, you can always contact them, call them. Check your bank account too. Whether if they said they charge it on your bank account or your credit card, go check there. See if there's something pending because if it's not, it's likely a scam. And then don't contact them back because that's what they're looking for. They're looking to see if they can get some engagement with you. They will keep trying. And then we see those suspicious links they send us. We don't know. We're curious. We click on it. Just don't click on those links because we do know that they do have malware a lot of times. And then that can be downloaded onto your device. And that really makes you more vulnerable to identity theft. I always check that email address too now, that sender's email address, because even one little letter or wherever that period is, it really makes a big difference. Yes, it does. So where should someone report a scam if they believe they're being scammed? There's so many options here. So one, you can report it to us at the Better Business Bureau on our scam tracker. You can also report it to the Federal Trade Commission at ftc.gov. And then also with the FBI, their website is ic3.gov. So you do have a lot of resources there. And it's very important to report it to. Don't be embarrassed or don't think you're doing anything wrong. It really helps on all levels. It really does. We know that's how people learn is through us learning about it and being able to tell them what is happening. So please report it. Very important. Always helpful tips. Thank you so much. Uh, Roseanne Freitas with the BBB. Thank you, Christine.